Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Slash Hunting and South. In this episode, we're going to be showing y'all what I did to my four wheeler and the parts I did, um, did to it and how to snorkel a four wheeler. You no, know I didn't get, I didn't film us putting on the snorkel, but I have some of the stuff that left over that I'm going to be showing y'all what we did to it and how. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all when it gets started. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm going to show y'all how I did my snorkel. Anyway. This was the old factory snorkel right here, and it just kind of went down in there and rested right up in there. So you can see I've already done, I've already put all my snorkel pieces on, but that was a rubber piece. This little piece right here, right there, I just, all I did was use it and slipped on some of this flexible half inch hosing. It just flexes on out, we cut us a piece off stuck it right up through there onto a, a little connection I, I don't know what it's called but it clamps on on either side and then we have half inch pvc pipe which is our leftover piece i think it was like 15 foot that we bought and we that's way too much but anyway we have that and then it's hooked up to a 90 degree angle curve just sit right up in there and we cut off a little piece right there i don't know how long it was or anything just kind of just put it in there and hope it worked cut off if we needed to and do anything else if we needed to it anything else but anyway we've got a piece of and then we got another 90 degree but it ain't that little sharp curve to seal all that together i have some rain or shine blue P, um, pvc pvc cement connector and all that it's good tight right. anyway and then coming off of that we have coming in our air box we have a they're not the air box but the we have hoses coming up through here they're kind of like this hose right here it just fits in the inside right up here here i can pull this one out oh, that's too big anyway the other ones are smaller but it fits right inside there and then you just go. And anyway, I put some, y'all can't see because we got some of this wrap, insulate, insulation piping wrap around it just to keep it from on the, off that motor and stuff. But anyway, other than that, we have some auto marine sealant. It's that um, silicone. And it's connecting this one to these little things right here. They keep it from. They are just plugged into these right here, actually. And just got that sealing them off. And then I got in here, I'm gonna get my air box. Here I'll go around. I have put some of that um, stuff, silicone right there around that edge, just to kind of keep water out of there. Whether it holds or not, I don't know. But I just did that. Just for precautions, just in case. I didn't seal this up just because I want to be able to get in there if something happens. But other than that, we've got some zip ties all the way up, connecting everything to a rack. I'm going to be getting a new, going to be getting some clamps to put right here to hold them on instead of having like six um, zip ties. And also on the very top, I'm going to be getting a cap. And connecting right here and drilling out a hole in it the same size as that right there just drilling a hole in it and that way it fits and then we've got our shifter now some of y'all don't know this some of y'all do some of my close friends know this but this is broke and it broke a while back and we've just been buying replacement i mean buying these over and over again and slipping them on there and tighten it down well my little piece in there that connects this to the engine it's getting stripped out so we put jb weld on there and just jb welded it down and tighten that screw in there so it's not it shouldn't be going anywhere i want y'all to be looking forward to in another video of me taking this thing and getting a snorkel test i'll do a before and after video because i have some footage of me going through the same pond without a snorkel on there Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one.